about it right now. Since the blockchain has shown its potential in the DeFi sector, there is a huge demand for blockchain developers right now, and everyone wants to switch to this technology. As I am a developer myself and working in this technology for three years, I want to share the best possible ways to start with Ethereum development. The first thing to consider for any beginner is that blockchain development and DApp development are two different things. Blockchain development refers to building an actual blockchain itself, which involves setting up some hardware, nodes, developing consensus algorithms that will go on the system, and much more related to the core of this technology. While DApp development is developing applications on top of that particular blockchain. Let me explain this in a simpler way. It's just like developing an Android operating system and building applications on top of Android are two different things. Hope you have got the difference between blockchain development and DApp development. Okay, so let's start with the DApp development on Ethereum blockchain, which means you will be able to build the application on top of Ethereum blockchain. For you to get a view of process, we will first discuss the flow of how the process goes and then the languages, frameworks, tools required to build the dApps. First, we will start with smart contracts, the backbone of Ethereum dApps. So what is a smart contract? Smart contracts are simply a program stored on a blockchain that runs when predetermined conditions are met, which decides the entire working of a dApp without any intermediaries, involvement or time loss. Currently for Ethereum dApps, language used for writing a smart contract is Solidity. Once you develop a smart contract, you need to deploy it on blockchain. For our case, it is the Ethereum blockchain we will be deploying on. As you can see, until now there is no need for any framework or full stack development tool. You can simply develop a smart contract and experiment with it using Remix. Remix is a Solidity ID that's used to write, compile, debug and deploy Solidity code. We will discuss more about how to start with Solidity and Remix in later parts of this guide. Once you have developed a smart contract, you can use any tool to deploy it on Ethereum blockchain like Truffle, Hardhat or the Remix ID itself. You can bypass learning Truffle for the beginning. Once you are comfortable with dApp development flow, you can then start learning Truffle and master it. As we have developed the smart contract which is deployed on Ethereum blockchain using any of the methods mentioned earlier, now comes the tricky part. How to access or interact with this deployed smart contract. This is where Web3 and full stack web development comes into picture. Any dApp will only consist of the deployed smart contract and an user interface to read, write data on Ethereum blockchain. For that, you need to connect the deployed smart contract with a user interface. How do we do that? Well, you need a provider to connect your user interface with the deployed smart contract, which is on Ethereum. But what's the provider? The provider helps Web3 dApps to talk or interact with the blockchain. These providers take JSON RPC requests and return the response. To put it simply, a provider is basically a connection running on Ethereum node which lets the end user communicate with blockchain. So for our dApps, it will help our interface to connect with the blockchain through which we can interact with the deployed smart contract. Now you must be wondering how to get these providers. Answer to this is, there are many service providers like Infura, Alchemy, Quicknode, Anchor, etc. Log in to any of this and you will get a Web3 provider. Simple way is to use the Metamask wallet which uses Infura under the hood. Things will be a lot clearer when you start building the dApp. Until now you must have understood that developing and deploying a smart contract has nothing to do with web development. This is how you can deploy smart contract using any tool. I will suggest you should go for Remix since it's easier for beginners. Once you get comfortable in dApp development, 
you can experiment with any you can follow these articles on how to use these tools the links are given in the description since we have discussed deploying smart contracts on ethereum blockchain now let's take a look at how we can connect smart contracts to our application there is a library in javascript called web3.js which will actually help our application to interact with smart contract functions it depends on what type of framework languages you are using to build your application for example if you are willing to interact with smart contract using python then you will go for web3.py otherwise nowadays most of the web applications are built using react angular view javascript frameworks so web3.js is fine you have to initialize web3 with the web3 provider most of the dapps opt for metamask since it's also a wallet and easy to use for dapp users one thing to note here is that metamask is a browser extension and can only be accessed from the browser and not from the server therefore it is best for client side of application so if you try connecting a smart contract from node.js using metamask server will throw an error once you have chosen the proper web3 provider it's now time to get the instance of smart contract you have deployed you can get the instance with web3 api and interact with smart contract and after that things are very easy for the summary you can deploy your smart contract using any one of the tools like truffle hard hat remix then if you are building a client side application then metamask will be your web3 provider and also a wallet then you will have to use web3.js if you are using any javascript framework and later part you can use any javascript framework like react js angular js or simple vanilla javascript also now we will practically follow the discuss dapp development flow by building a smart contract in next part